Today we're going to be using an interactive to explore two types of changes that take place in matter. This is the notebook page we'll be using for our exploration. If you click on the word simulation on the page, it will take you to the interactive. If you don't have access to the notebook page, here's the URL to the interactive that we're going to be working with today. Once you open the link and take a look at the interactive, I'd like to bring your attention to all of these important functions as you'll be using them all throughout the course of your exploration. We begin with an introductory question. Go ahead and pause this video and watch through the entire introduction. When finished, click Go to Sim to open up the simulation. Here I want to take a look at those functions that are important to explore while you're going through this simulation. The first one is the item selector. As you look at the page, you'll see this item selector in many spots. You're going to be clicking on each one of these spots as you explore this simulation. The next one is the change selector. As you click on each item, it will open up, and then you'll see that you have an option to view two different changes that this item goes through. When you're exploring, make sure you click the animation viewer. By clicking this, you'll get to see exactly what physical or chemical process is taking place with that item. The next function you'll want to look at is the chemical equation function. When you click the eyeball, it will expand this panel and allow you to see the chemical reaction that's taking place with the item. When you click on the information and the molecule explorer buttons in the simulation, these expand to give you important scientific information and background about what it is you're viewing. Make sure you look at these too as you're doing your observations. Finally, for each item, there's an animation and there's a before and after view. After you click on the animation, be sure you click on the before and after tab. This is going to give you a look at the item before the event that took place and then again after the event that took place. This is important because it shows the inside of the item and what the molecules are doing. Now that you're familiar with each function, let's take a look at what we're going to be doing on this notebook page. Our first item on the observation chart is a flashlight. So I'm going to go in the simulator and I'm going to click on the flashlight. And I want to look at the breaking glass feature of this flashlight. So I'm going to use the change selector and make sure its breaking glass is selected. We then want to take a look at each one of the categories on this chart. First of all, the particles. Do they look similar before and after? Or do they look different? To investigate this, I'm first going to run the animation and see what's happening to this flashlight. As the animation takes place, I'm going to make sure I closely observe everything that I can. That includes the action, and it also includes the details. We can see here we have a zoom bubble, and on the screen of the flashlight we have a crack developing, and the zoom bubble is showing us the details about the molecules. If I click the chemical equation, I can see the before and after in terms of the chemical equation, and I can also explore the molecules, and if I click on the information, I can read about what is going on with the flashlight as it's cracking. After I've explored everything in the animation, I'm ready to take a look at the before and after. And we need to decide if the particles look similar in those before and after pictures or if they look different. And when I look closely at the before and after pictures, I see that the particles look very similar. So I'm going to return to my notebook page, select the circle beneath particles look similar before and after, and then use the bucket tool to fill that circle with color. Continue exploring the flashlight's breaking glass to decide if the item can or cannot return to normal and whether or not heat was generated. For the flashlight, you're going to investigate both the breaking glass and the battery generating electricity. For the wood, you're going to explore wood being chopped and wood being burnt. When you click the item selector for butter, you're going to explore both butter melting as well as someone cutting the butter. And when you click the item selector on the pot, you're going to take a look at water boiling. The last item you're going to investigate is bending aluminum. After you've completed your observation chart, look at all the information you've gathered and try to come up with two categories for the items. Place some of the items in one category based on what they have in common, and then other items in another category based on what they have in common. Then explain what they had in common. We'll learn more about these changes of matter soon, but meanwhile, nice work doing your exploration.